Hey, this is Pastor Jackie Jackson. Glad to be with you today. Uh, we are continuing. Uh, this video is for our Storyteller uh, series. And uh, one of the things that I told you we would be doing is studying actually from Scripture and looking at stories that are in the Bible and how they relate to us. And no better place to start than in the book of Genesis. So we're going to take a look. Man, there's a whole lot of things about creation you know, that we could be looking at. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to grab one uh, particular nugget that I think is very important for us to understand. And this has to do with our dominion and our authority, the way it was originally supposed to be. But I want you to understand that that has been restored through Jesus Christ and through the, the Holy Spirit living in us again. So I've already given you the conclusion. So let's look at how we map this out. Genesis chapter 1 says this, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. All right? Most of us know the creation story, so it is good just to pull out some important parts. It says the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, here's our first key, was hovering over the face of the waters. So we, we now have this picture of really what it is, is power in restraint. The Spirit of God is, is brooding or fluttering. Uh, actually, uh, the word in Hebrew means that it was, you know, kind of making this sound like it was power in restraint waiting for a command, waiting for uh, God to speak. And actually, we're dealing with the Trinity here because God is going to speak. When he speaks word, that word is Jesus. So, and, and the Holy Spirit is the force that's going to bring to pass what God the Father says. So that's really awesome. I can get into that a little deeper, maybe in another study. But that is a part of what we're trying to see here. Here is the Holy Spirit in great power waiting for a command. And so now we're going to jump through scripture and we're going to not look at every part of creation of what God, you know, created, but we're going to look at the the process of what God says coming to pass. It says, "Then God said, let there be light." In verse 3. And then there are different things that God does, the firmament and dividing waters and doing all that. And verse 7 says, "And it was so." Verse 9 says, then God said, then God does some other things that have to do with water, that have to do with the seas, that have to do with different things. And at the end of verse 9, it says, and it was so. Verse 11 says, then God said, all right, that the earth is going to bring forth uh, seed and, and yield herbs and different things like that are going to occur. And at the end of verse 11, it says, and it was so. There's a pattern here, right? Verse 14 begins by saying, then God said, and verse 15, after it's talking about all that God did, it says, and it was so. In verse 24, leaping forward, it says, then God said, talking about the earth bringing forth living creatures and cattle and things that are going to creep on the earth, all of that. And at the end of verse 24, it says, and it was so. Then in verse 26, after we see this pattern of God saying something and what he says coming to pass by it saying, and it was so, and all along God's calling all of this good. He's, you know, uh, you know, it's happening. It's coming to pass. And what he's doing is complete in order. It's all done well. And God says it is good. It's miod is the Hebrew word there. And verse 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Right? One just like a paraclete. Imagio Dei is the word there. It, our image is going to be like us. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So everything God has made, 
he is now saying, let's create a creature like us to have, a, uh, to have authority over everything that we've made. Verse 29 says, and God said, he's speaking to Adam and Eve, and he is telling them about the dominion that they have, right? I've given you the herbs to yield fruit. I've given you the beast. I've given you everything that creeps. He's saying, I've done that. And then at the end of verse 9, it says, and it was so. Uh, verse, I mean, sorry, at the end of verse 30, 30, 30 it says, and it was so. And in verse 31, God looks at everything that he made, and he didn't just say it's good. He said it's very good. Tob me old. It's, it's perfect. But what's interesting and what we need to understand is God didn't take his rest until he had given the authority of earth to someone that could take care of it. And that would be us. God created us in his image. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 it tells us to be imitators of God. Imitating how? How are we going to keep things in order? How do we keep dominion? We keep it by doing what God did decreeing things and expecting that those things will come to pass. God said, and it was so. We weren't going to wrestle uh, uh, wild horses and make them come into order. We were going to speak things into order, right? Out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth is going to speak. You will have what it is you say, what you believe that God is going to do through you. See, the Holy Spirit is still involved. Man was created in God's image with God's spirit on the inside. And by being able to work with the Holy Spirit, it gave us the ability to have the dominion that God wanted us to have. And this is all prior to the fall. And Jesus came so that the Spirit could live on the inside of us again so that that dominion could be restored. Dominion over what? Sickness, disease, anything that is out of order that Satan has now brought into the earth. We have authority as imitators of God. We have the ability, Philippians 2.5, to have the very mind of Christ and to think like him in the situations that come our way. That's just creation. It's just the beginning. You're right? It's just the beginning of us understanding all that's available to us in God through these stories that we're going to be dealing with. I'm Pastor Jackie Jackson. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you study this out even more, and it's a great blessing to you. You take care. We're going to talk real soon. Remember this. Luke 12, 32 says, Fear not, little flock, for it is the Father's good pleasure to give you, you, the kingdom. God bless. Bye-bye.